Well, it was a government initiative originally because they were having great difficulty in keeping up transport systems in rural communities. Uh, the bus companies couldn't afford to keep them going and they wanted to try four different experiments and we were picked out as one of them and the, all different methods were used. Ours was the first to use volunteer drivers and a minibus. Those of us who lived in the area recognised that for, certainly for older people it was an acute problem. Uh, how do you get into the shops? And local shops in villages were closing down quite steadily so people needed to get into the town. And the market day in Tiverton of course was an actual focus. You knew that you were helping a lot of people get on with life. That was very satisfying. There's never been any huge difficulty in finding drivers to come forward and work on it. And I think that's a great reflection on the community. The passengers, it gives them some independence and gives them the opportunity to actually get out and live life for themselves. Certainly in um, the X Valley, how elderly people are very isolated, um, certainly with limited public transport. And this is a lifeline for them. And I just wanted to feel that I was giving something back after all the years that I worked within the community as well. I had to stop driving about five years ago and I go on the bus every Friday. And when you can't drive, you know, it's very useful. It's a lifeline for the community right, to get out and get to town or get on the Wednesday trips every day out. I wasn't involved right at the start. I can remember it starting, but I wasn't actually involved. But I never thought it would have gone on for 40 years. And I hope now, with help from government and county, towards replacing the buses that we can carry on as long as ever we can go. I won't be around in 40 years time, but uh, yes, I would like to think of another 40 years.